Welcome to how to create config packages in AL. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, a trick that I use a lot actually is not really a trick, but but is to create configuration packages, uh, predefine them as probably is a better word. Um, so my Customers do not have to go in and figure out what tables are part of something uh, that my apps simply can create. Okay, we will create a config package with the data that is relevant to this app. Um, and it's really something that kind of moves, you know, many small steps that takes any solution in, in Business Central to the next level. Uh, and and you, it's all about making our users happy and in general users love the configuration packages and they hate them at the same time because they're kind of annoying to set up and and get right so you can actually do that for them uh, so make it's make it a more delightful experience using your app so let me show you how you can do this here is here is a business central. We're going to use that later. Let me see if I can find. Here is a Visual Studio project, Visual Studio Code project. Um, and I just, you know, did the usual stuff. So let's actually um, go and create a code unit for this. That might be a good idea. So new file. Uh, let's call it uh, AL config has to be a code unit um, I'm just I'm just gonna give it a number uh, that I know has not been used in the database I'm deploying to so I know that I can get a number from the uh, uh, from Intellisense but um, that, that number might be used in the database I'm deploying to right now let's call it something al config generator how about that um, and I guess uh, I guess we just need a function. Let's create a function called create config package. So one thing we need to know here is that a what is a configuration package? It's it's not a you know a hidden thing inside uh, Business Central. It's it's all written in AL. And uh, if we go and take a look at uh, I actually think it's in the base application. Let's see if I'm right. Um, we can scroll down and find, uh, yeah, see here. Um, all uh, there's the table configuration package, so everything is just in the base app. Again, I have a feeling that this might move into the uh, system application uh, uh, extension at some point because this is not really accounting. This is very, very technical. But anyway, it sits here. So this is the table that we need to get hold of. So let's create a variable and uh, let's call it conf config package and do a record. And so you can see that here actually let me let me show a trick about the intelligence so if I do config and I can see there's a dot when I as soon as I pressed let me do that again I press the dot then the search function is messed up the search function cannot figure out that that we are searching for config dot uh, so now we're searching searching for something else then I'm, I'm going to do package and we can see we get config package that's the right one I press enter and now it says config dot and then config package again. Uh, so the the trick to avoid this is just simply ignoring the dot and just go config package, then you get the right one. Um, that's a little tip for you. So this is just a normal record. So we need to treat this as any other, uh, if I can spell tonight, I'm sorry. Package so in it, so we need to do all the usual stuff. Uh, config package dot validate. Um, we can go back here and take a look at the table, and we have a 
a code, a package name, language ID, number of table, that's a flow field, product version, exclude configuration tables, you always do that, processing order, number of records, tons of flow fields here, uh, and some status. So in reality, the only thing we really need to care about is uh, it's just a few fields. So let's um, so let's validate the code and 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 I'm gonna, and I'm just gonna hard code this because what we're doing is we're supplying a configuration package that is tied to our app. So you would give it some default uh, code and description that means that your 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 customers uh, can your users can uh, can locate this configuration package. Um, and and then we're gonna insert it. Insert true. We're not config. <laughs> config. We're not savages. So always validate and insert. Um, and then after this one is inserted, um, I'm gonna fill out the package name with YouTube video example. It's probably oh. I'm gonna validate. So, so that was actually, and I'm getting a message here. Right, go away, somebody. I'm doing serious work here. There we go. Um, so we have a name. Then let's uh, make sure that we exclude the configuration uh, tables. Otherwise, we just get stuff that we really don't need in this case so let's exclude that uh, and we can modify through so now we have you know the configuration package so let's go back in here and then just find the configuration package so we can take a look at what else do we have to build one of these so we got one that's perfect and we have filled out the code and the package name we could put a version in there if we really want to. Uh, that might be a good idea, actually. Configuration package, validate something of product version. So they could, this could be the version of our app. Uh, U 1.0. How about that? Let me do. Wow, that's not a good typing day. Um, language is if we cared about it um, so the next thing we need to do is add some tables uh, so let's take a look at this we can quickly open the uh, hopefully let's see if we're allowed to open the come on page inspector you can do it let's go up here and see if we're allowed to do it up here oh i am typing something using the wrong keyboard. Let's scroll down to this one. And the table is called the config package table. Table. So that's pretty easy. Um, but we want to add more than one. So actually, let's create another procedure here. Uh, add a table to a config package. If I'm able to type. Uh, CP, that's our config package. And then I guess we just need a table number. Can you see where now you can see integer? So we need a, a config table and that was the, it was called config package table. That's the one. So we'll do config, wow, we'll do config table dot init. We'll do config table dot config package, uh, actually, I think package code here. Yeah. Equal our parameters we got just got with the, with the code from that one. Um, and then we need to validate the, the table ID but the table number that let me actually guess this over here so you can see what is happening the, the table number we just passed to this one um, 
and uh, let's insert this. So now we might need to do some. So if we go back here and, and let's get rid of the page inspector. So we, we can see that there, there are things that we could do. Dimensionless columns, skip table triggers, uh, delete table records before processing. Um, I think we'll keep this simple and just do config table dot uh, uh, let's see if we can find that value date. I think it's called skip table triggers. So let's let's do that. Let's skip table triggers. Then config table dot modify modify through. There we go. Uh, so again, it's the same pattern. If if you ever have if you've seen my video on validation. This is old news. If you haven't, you should subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's lots of great stuff down there. And uh, if you subscribe, you'll know when um, there's new stuff coming, which is all the time. Anyway, so the pattern here is that we in it, we fill out the primary key, we insert, we fill out the rest of the keys, we modify, um, simulating as if we were typing this. So now we have added this, then we can go up here and add table to config package. And the first parameter is simply our config package. And then the, 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 the second parameter is our table number. Um, and we could do like 18. This is fine. This is the customer. But, but actually, this is... <sighs> This is this used to be fine. Uh, I think now this is getting into the kind of smells territory, uh, meaning that I know that Microsoft is eager to get rid of the uh, object numbers. Uh, it's an, it's an old old thing, um, and uh, there's really no usage for it behind the scene anymore. Uh, there's still some usage for licensing on-prem, but there's no license in, in the cloud that needs this. Uh, and, and if you noticed, um, some of the new stuff that has been added is without object numbers. Uh, so that that is quite an interesting hint. Anyway, instead of writing 18, I could do database colon colon customer, if I'm able to spell. If not, then I need the number. So now that, and then I can do add table to config packet, config package database. Wow. Vendor. I hope this is not one of the nights where you guys are making this into a drinking game whenever I mistype something because you gotta be drunk. Uh, let's do one more database item. And we can do it final one just to database resource wow so so now if this works and i think it does but uh, let's see Hope we will add four tables to our configuration package so in order for this to actually work we need somewhere to call this code unit and i think i almost did that before I started the video. So I found the configuration package page and add my config package. So this should be as simple as create a variable for code unit al config generator and then do add dot create config package. Let's rename this to something generator instead. There you go. Uh, let's see if this compiles. It compiles. Okay. So now I'm gonna run this. I'm not going to. I'm. I'm just gonna do this and hope that I didn't screw up anything because uh, the debugger and the code that generates configuration packages have a tendency to just lock down the docker image and then I had to restart that and I don't really want to do that. Um, 
Let's see where this one ended up. Action at my config package. So make it or break it. Here we are. Okay. So we got a configuration package called YouTube. We didn't add a language ID. I think that's fine. Uh, we can already see here that there are four tables in it. So let's open this up. Uh, we got the exclude config package. We have the four tables. Um, if we go and look at a table, we can see that there are fields. So, so the important part of actually validating uh, makes all this correct. Um, if we start grab the page inspector, we can see that this is config package field. Um, so we could go in and, and, you know, like remove the validation if, if we wanted that or uh, anything else on the fields because it's another just one. So I think let's see if it works. I guess that's a that's a great uh, great test. Working on it, exporting, and we got a download. So. That's a configuration package. Uh, let's just recap what we did. Um, simply insert a record in the configuration package table, and we added a function to insert records into the configuration package table table. And uh, that's how easy it is to actually create a configuration package. So in this, let me look at my timer. I'm, I'm 15 minutes in or something like that. Um, when you're creating apps, being being adding these little things to make your users' life easier have a lot of value for them. Uh, and and I can't remember how many times I have had conversations with my customers about what tables to include when they're creating configuration packages. And we can avoid all that, or most of it by doing something like this i know that i just added you know four base tables but if i had created a um let's say the the point of sale app i created a while back here on the channel uh, that had some setup tables and stuff like that um or or the uh, the address validation app again so you could create a configuration package generated like this. So when the customer is ready to take something from their sandbox to their production, there's a package, it's easy uh, for them. You could even have some, now, now we created just a menu items for this to generate it on demand, but we could have a our upgrade code created, or if we had some initialization code somewhere else, go in and add this one. So it's just here, there and ready to use it. Anyway, guys, that's it for, for this video. Um, let me know in the comments below if this is something that you would use. Uh, this is If this is useful. Uh, and remember to subscribe. And uh, then have a wonderful time until the next time we see, which is very soon. Take care.